medicine is moving from very blunt instruments uh, where you had to open up a chest uh, all the way or, or had to use a molecule that would hit almost every part of your body to now molecules that are uh, the, the finest scalpel you could ever have. They can find one base pair out of six billion and change it, uh, for example. And so that needs to have matching it observational tools where we can see at that high level of resolution and comprehensiveness. With current sequencing technology, you have to isolate RNA. And that usually means your first step is to grind up the sample, losing all spatial information of where the RNA molecules came from. With fluorescent C2 sequencing technology, we can actually detect the RNA transcripts where they live inside cells. And this is important because biological samples are not homogenous. When we can detect where the RNA molecules are within the cells, that tells us about the function of those cells. For example, we could serial section through an entire embryo uh, or brain, specifically in the brain initiative. We want to encourage innovative neurotechnologies. This is an example of one that can, fluorescent C2 sequencing, can integrate many different types of data at very uh, high resolution. We now can break through the barriers to integrating the connectivity and the activity of the different neurons. This is a big improvement over either the low resolution uh, methods that we typically have and the and the super high resolution electron microscopy, which is hard to scale up beyond a few cubic millimeters. With the new fluorescent in situ sequencing technology, we can visualize the sequence as a vertical string of colors with one color for each DNA base, A, G, C, and T. And then it appears that each molecule has its own sequence barcode. We can take those sequences and map them to the genome, and that tells us where each gene is expressed within the sample. Fluorescent in C2 sequencing could lead to uh, a new era in the sense that we can really start looking at comprehensive expression and relationships among cells over vast spatial distances. In this present study, we've detected over 6,000 genes in a single sample, whereas with current technology, we'd be limited to looking at two or three genes. When you look at the whole set, you find the non-subtle parts, the place where the transcript you didn't think to look for is way out of proportion, right? So by looking comprehensively at all the transcripts, you have a better chance of finding the one that is causative or is a potential weak point where you can get a therapeutic in there.